we tear and ensure it is safe for the child. I need also to try and see if the child can consume. You can see, congratulations, she's doing well. She's consuming very well. My name is Daniel Ereng, nurse in charge Sopel Dispensary. I've been serving this facility for the last uh, eight years. For the last three years, uh, this is one of the most affected areas where the animals died because of drought. And now the population around, they lack food, enough food to sustain them. The community had a challenge because this place is far away. Anytime I receive this client in my facility, I least sympathize with them and also empathize to them because of the distance uh, they undergo, because of malnutrition, they suffer. First thing she came, she came for an OTP service, that is to get the outpatient therapeutic feed. At the same time we did a screening and we found she was not feeling well. We have been doing a follow-up to the child. This was a, a case of severe acute malnutrition. So we partnered together with UNICEF to provide critical support such as water and sanitation as well as therapeutic food to children and pregnant women. We're hoping to help communities overcome the impact of the drought, build resilience, and for children to have the basic needs met, such as nutrition, so they can achieve their full potential here in Kenya. We are going to an outreach. This is where we are going to offer the services to hard to reach areas, like that place called Lotesiro. Now the outreaches have played a very important role to us. Since that time when the outreaches were introduced, we were able to reduce the cases of malnutrition by around 60%. Being a nurse, it's my passion to serve the community and to care for the patient. The drought situation in Turkana County has been one of the most trying situations. I feel like for this community to recover, then we are talking about one and a half years.